Well, here's the uh, tractor that we purchased last fall, and we've been working on it in the uh, in the garage uh, pretty much, uh, well, all winter on our days off. It's a John Deere 1120 diesel, three-cylinder diesel. So here's a picture when I brought it home. And we started to strip it down a little bit and see what was wrong with it. And it has a had a big list of problems, like anything we purchase. Uh, the hoods were all dented up and scratched. and So my father, he's the body man. He, uh, he started working on that. Three-point hitch was broken, had a chain on it. Oil leaks everywhere. Fenders rusted right through. So my father started doing his, his repairs. Here he is working on the hood, getting the it squared up again and and banging out the dents before he starts to do the body work. There's the fenders after he patches them and then starts to apply the the filler where it needs to be. He hammers most of the dents out before, but so we put less filler. And here's a fender after he repaired the uh, rotten fender. Same for the hood. And there's the all the panels, the hood and the fenders after they were primed and ready for paint. Here's the front emblem. It was pretty rough. I couldn't find another one, so I Kinda ended up painting it Not myself. so nice outside. So I'm going to do some work on the tractor that we're going to restore here. This one's a big tractor, 6310. This here's an 1120. I believe it's a 1973. I have to check the serial number again. Bought that last fall, started to do the body work on it. That's pretty much done. Paint will be done this week. Now we're doing some electrical. Got some electrical problems everywhere. Starter, starter's fine. It's not wired properly and nothing works in the dash. Gonna put all new gauges, new tack. Have a new seat, uh, new filter, fuel. Uh, sending gauge for the fuel tanks that's going to be changed I have a new muffler everything's going to be put back nice there's my 720 diesel here is my 2510 keep them covered up so we don't get fumes on them I'll do a video on this one another day I'll take her out for a spin This one here has got issues. Seems to run well, but electrical, got to move a wheel in. It's out a little bit too far for my trailer, so I'm going to adjust that in. Already changed the seal in the um, power steering. Gone inside here, took the unit out, and changed the seals in the power steering. It seems to be good. wiring figured out here we got our wire switch working all new harness going back here for the light splashers there we go new harness there so we got her all done the wiring's all done on her all new gauges in and power there and our lights in the dash all work new tachometer we're all set and always a kill switch on the batteries every antique we have killer There's my buddy having a beer he did all the work
Well, I'm back in the shop today. It's, it's a week later. We'd got my friend and I helped uh, get her wired up and get the new tack and uh, the new temperature gauge with the sending unit and the fuel gauge and its new sending unit. And uh, today I want to try and get the flasher. So I got a new flasher unit here and I got to put a toggle in for it in the dash. Uh, and that's my first step. Adjusted. Got her towed out a little bit because she was towed in too much. Wheel bearings tightened up in the slack. The wheel bearings. Hydraulic filter, new fuel filter, oil filter, all changed. Fix the leaking was on the tack on the uh, return on the injector flashers are on switch in the dash got a lot accomplished today for a rainy afternoon Things are coming along. Cold out this morning, minus 20, so got the furnace on, warming up the garage. And I'm gonna change the injectors today. She's an old tractor here, so. Um, smokes a bit when it first starts, so. Which is normal, but still, I think some new injectors would freshen her up, make her start a little bit easier. So we got injectors to go in. New return lines I bought. Got these injectors from A and I. So hopefully they'll do the trick. And I got a new drag link and I got my thing repainted. I got the lights, flashers, rubbers for the gear shift. Oh, there's all kinds of parts in here still to go on. New headlights was all wired up a couple weeks ago. So I want to get that. I also want to get the uh, rad hose changed. So today I'm going to try for injectors. See how that goes. Hopefully they come out. And if that goes good, I might jump onto rad hose. This one here. This one. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's a uh, 15/16 in. Okay. So the injectors are in. She starts and runs beautiful, smooth. Not much smoke out of her now, so I'm happy with that. Not even a leak. Guess I tightened her up good. She's jumping on the drag link. Got a new one there. And I guess I'll attack the Presto on if that works. We'll see. All right, now 
fix the three-point hitch. Had some parts from another tractor that were good and hard were wore out on this 1120. So this is all fixed up now. Nothing fancy, some welds here and there, but it'll do the trick. Well, I had a, another good day in the shop. Got a lot done on the tractor. Uh, set my goals for injectors but I got the injectors and the new return lines on and rubbers and so on all done and I got the new drag link on and ended up getting the new rad hose on too and uh, flushed all the antifreeze and did a flush and uh, everything and put fresh antifreeze in it so and the rubbers are on new rubbers on the gear shifts and the new gear shift knobs and the three-point hitch we changed the arms and the pins and the clips and the balls and sockets in there are new to us which are good that's it another good week next we'll start doing some painting have to get this all sanded and prepped there's one dent here this will get fixed some filler body filler and we're going to start to sand and paint remove that old seat we have a new seat to assemble 